I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, a man is shot in North Las Vegas this morning after allegedly stabbing a 7-Eleven clerk. It happened near Lake Mead and Las Vegas Boulevards. Police say the man tried to run from the clerk after stabbing him. He was heading towards a bus stop, but the injured clerk chased him and shot him. Officers say the two got into a fight because the man refused to leave the 7-Eleven. Both are expected to be okay. The Vegas Golden Knights have fired head coach Gerard Gallant and assistant coach Mike Kelly. The team made that announcement on Twitter this morning, sending fans into a tizzy on social media. Replacing Gallant as the Knights' new head coach will be Peter DeBoer. DeBoer was head coach of the San Jose Sharks for the past four seasons, but was fired by the Sharks just last month. Well, Bishop Gorman's head football coach, Kenny Sanchez, has resigned. He has been the head coach and dean of students at the school since 2015. In a statement, San Sanchez says in part, I am grateful for all the opportunities that Bishop Gorman has given me over the years and proud of what we accomplished as a program. He added, quote, it is best at this time for me to step away while I consider other options and opportunities. The school's athletic director says they will start the search for a replacement immediately. Now let's get a check on the weather with Danny. Thanks, Trisha. Another beautiful afternoon. Temperatures today on the mild side, topping out in the upper 50s, near 60 degrees under a lot of sunshine. A few clouds mix in as we head into your Thursday. Tomorrow, even warmer with highs in the low 30s. But the difference for your Thursday forecast is that a chance for rain works in late tomorrow night as well as a breeze. That rain chance will linger in the overnight hours into Friday morning and then clear out in time for the morning commute. But the breeze will linger into Friday. All right, Danny, thank you. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com. And thank you for making 13 Action News part of your day.